a hole or two probably for the players to get a good sense of how much water has been absorbed on the greens. We mentioned those Eagles by McNabb. This was on Wednesday in round one, finishing at 18 with an Eagle three. Saw a lot of players coming up short and right with their second shots at that par five, but McNabb really had a great shot. And then in the second round, she finished her day on the ninth with that back left hole location had this putt for Eagle as well. Born in South Africa, sophomore TCU. Shot 72 here last year when she played in the final round of the Augusta National Women's Amateur. Second time here. She'll have a birdie putt coming up in a little bit. Let's go ahead to the play at the 11th. This is Mega Gane for her birdie. Just roll past for the freshman at Stanford University. And while she taps, we'll head back to the eighth. And flag stick in for Jenny Bay, putting for birdie. Trying to get back to even par on the day. On the side of the green in two, but unable to capitalize and make a birdie. If you'd like to learn more about the competitors in the Augusta National Women's Amateur and see the latest championship updates, visit annualgolf.com and follow at annualgolf on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook as well. Back to eight and McNabb for birdie. Very nice two putt birdie. For Caitlin. One over on the round with a double, a bogey, and a couple of birdies. And we'll go over to 12, and Crystal Wang just got that started on the wrong line. A little bit of a decel there. She had such a beautiful shot before the delay. And there on the 12th, not able to capitalize. It's been steady since those three bogeys on the first six holes. And we go back to the eighth, and Jim Bones Mackay down there as the sun has popped out as the leader set to play her second shot. Two fifteen total, absolutely beautiful conditions. Rose did a very smart thing and walked this hole backwards to this shot so she could see exactly the line she wanted to pick out from the top of the hill. Fairway metal trying to turn something towards the green. This is a really good looking shot. Gonna race all the way back through the green bones and and off. And so uh, Rose there in two at the par five. Short game will be tested again. And as we mentioned from earlier, Andrea Lignell plays quickly. She does, and she got out of here a good 20 minutes before Rose did, so she may need, need to hit another small bucket to warm up. <laughs> Uphill lie, trying to hit a high cut in there. It's going to miss to the right here, but that's a great place to miss considering the flag's cut eight paces from the left side of the green. Mound will just send it a bit towards the path you take from 9T on down nine fairway. Speaking of uh, number nine, we'll go there now. And Jenny Bay has reached the tee. A nice little draw down the center would be lovely. And the quick pick up the tee tells me that is what she did. Yeah, that's how she looked uh, prior to the break, prior to the delays. She looked very confident, especially with her driver. And getting in position on this golf course, so important. And up at the green, Sheen Yu Lu has a birdie look. Slickest putts you will see on this golf course. Good birdie as she makes her turn. 12 T, Bo Park. See if any par three magic left. Just 
Jones flattened out. Hopefully there it will stay right there. A little bit of moisture, not the worst thing. I may make my way up there a little bit quicker. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Just uh, stick there while the gates have reopened. The patrons are coming back in here at Augusta National. Had to clear the property with the uh, dangerous weather, but good to see them coming back in. I'm sure a nice group will assemble for the end of the competition. At the 10th, Antonio, Antonio Malate, the San Jose State graduate student. Just works over to the left of the players from that spot down there in the far left portion of the 10th green. So she'll stay at two under, one of the better first nines at one under par. And speaking of playing well. This is Fernandez Garcia Pollo on the ninth. Had a birdie at the seventh. And another at the ninth. She has one of the best rounds of the day going now two under. As she makes the turn. And back at the 12th, Megagane on the tee of the par three. Right on line, too. Just a bit short, but a good shot. Return to the eighth third for Lignell. Bit of an in-betweener here, so she's chosen to bump the ball. This should work right if it can get off this slope, but doesn't. The moisture holds the ball up. Unlucky there. We saw Rosang go over the green there, Bones. A lot of green to work with. Fantastic play from Rose. She couldn't miss in a better place should she not have knocked that, green, that shot on the green in two. She's basically pitching back onto a bit of a platform area. The ball's going to race down towards the hole. It's going to move a lot to her right in the last six or seven feet, but this is very doable in terms of getting it up and down before. And I got to think this couldn't be a better scenario given the tough start she got off to this morning prior to the delay. Yeah, Bowen, she's played the par fives beautifully this week, including the second hole today. 10 under on the nine par five so far she's played one eagle and eight birdies yeah i just think that there's a physical aspect to the delay and the mental of course she has that opportunity to hit reset and with her ability ball striking wise and putting she's got to think there are plenty of birdies out there as we move into the second nine oh, it didn't sound very solid yeah that got away from her i think she definitely hit that a little bit thin can't be happy with 10 or 12 feet. So she will have the putt for birdie. Try to get back to double digits under par. She's 19 years old, but has a lot of experience in this event. As a matter of fact, one of the three competitors who participated in all four playings, the Augusta National Women's Amateur, and all three made the cut and are here playing the final round on this Saturday at Augusta. Come back for Rose's birdie attempt momentarily, but to the ninth. And this is Caitlin McNabb. It's that uphill approach. And she has hit that drive way down there. So now it's about spin control. You can see that wind whipping mm -hmm. as well as we head back to the eighth. Exposed up there on that ninth green, even though the front has come through. Lignell of the first uh, birdie putt, the 22 year old Swede. A couple of wins in her college season. And that's a phrase very familiar to Old Miss fans uh, on her on her hat there, hotty toddy. That's <laughs> a familiar refrain, no matter what the sport, no matter what the time, to be candid, in Oxford on the Grove, one of the most beautiful college campuses in the country. And you would think these young ladies spend a lot of time on the putting green post delay, just having a look at how the speed has changed with all the rain we got here the previous two or three hours. What does it feel like underfoot, Bones? Well done there. They certainly make a little bit of a sound, but as we saw with Lignell's third shot, I just don't think they're going to run out quite as much as they were earlier on. What a beautiful birdie and way to bounce back, get this restart underway absolutely to the ninth and Bay's approach 
She's trying to chase down Rosang. This is a good opportunity if she can get a little bit of spin. Yes. Well done. And we'll head back to the leader. As good a shot as we have seen all day from any of the competitors. What a play there by Bay, making this putt even more important for Rosang. This will turn left the entire way. Wind starting to pick up all of a sudden. It's a putt for Birdie. Mm. Overread, much like her miss on the seventh. Yeah, that didn't look quite as tentative as a couple of putts she hit prior to the horn blowing. That looked like a better stroke, just. A misread played it a little bit too high as Bones mentioned right there. So that lead is three, could be two if Bay makes her putt. Meantime, we'll go back to the 12th and Mega Gane. Her pretty putt just works off to the right. I feel like we've seen her so many years at Augusta National with her four appearances in the drive, chip, and putt national finals. Stanford freshman. Now we're over the 17th. This is Lottie Wode. She is two under par on her round. That equals the best score in relation to par on the day. And a nice shot. She was the last player to tee off of 10. So she is still finishing her front nine as we go to the ninth. And the final group, this is Lignell. Somebody just turned on the wind machine. It is really hum humping out of the right to left at the moment. Has it changed direction from uh, a couple hours ago, Bones? No, it's still pretty much southwest. That's a very good drive there, it appears, from Andrea. Up at the green now, McNabb for her birdie. A nice roll on a delicate shot, or excuse me, a delicate putt. Good par, we'll head back to the tee. You get the feeling that Rose is quite annoyed with the putter. Certainly that's a club today in these tough conditions that can take a lot of stress off you. One thing I'm paying attention to here, Bones, her shoulders look very square here. And a couple of those squirrely drives, as we replayed them in highlights, looked like she was set a little bit open. This is a beautiful play, left center. Good adjustment. And again, she had three wasted shots in chipping out due to poor drive. So a great position there for Rosang. And this is Jenny Bay's birdie putt up at the green. Well done as she inches closer at seven under now. So she will reach the second nine at Augusta National where we know so much can happen. So the patrons coming back onto the property here at Augusta National. Jenny Bay with that birdie at the ninth. Now seven under, even on the day, but perhaps most importantly, just two shots behind Rose Zhang. Delay of uh, three hours, nearly 20 minutes as well. But uh, good to see them back on the course as we go. After the action on that second nine, Gianna Clement, the 15-year-old, her second. really well done 